Selamat sejahtera semua. I'm Jessalyn, the developer advocate for Chrome DevTools. Let's find out what's new in DevTools in Chrome 86. DevTools now has a new media panel. It provides you with an easier way to view and debug media player information. Here, I have a page with a video player. Open the media panel, then select the player. You can now view the video player properties, event, messages, and timeline. Select the timeline pane and try to play, pause, and fast forward the video. The video playback and buffering status are updated in real time, which could help you inspect potential issues quicker. You can also download the media player information. Right click on the player and select Save Player Info. I have included the link to the media panel documentation in the video description. Next up, you can now capture note screenshots through the Elements panel context menu. For example, you can take a screenshot of the table of contents by right clicking on the Elements node and selecting Capture Note Screenshot. DevTools now provides color suggestions for low color contrast text. In my example here, the text color is not accessible. To fix it, open Color Picker of the color property in the Styles pane. Expand the Contrast Ratio section. DevTools provides AA and AAA color suggestions. Click on the suggested color and yay, the color is fixed. You can now use the new Disable Locker Fonts feature to emulate missing locker sources in the CSS font face rules. In this example, I have Rubik Lite fonts installed locally. These are the CSS font face rules for the page. In the computed pane, you can see the font is rendered with the Rubik Lite font. Now open the rendering tab, disable the locker fonts, and reload the page. The rendered font is now Rubik Black. Oftentimes, developers and designers use two different copies of the same font during development. A locker font for your locally installed design tools and a web font for your code. This feature makes it easier for you to verify the correctness of your CSS font face rules and debug your web font's loading performance. The idle detection API allows developers to detect inactive users and react on idle state changes. You can now use DevTools to emulate idle state changes in the Sensors tab for both of the user state and the screen state instead of waiting for the actual idle state to change. Click on More Options, More Tools, Sensors to open the Sensors tab. There are four options for you to emulate the idle detector state. You can now use DevTools to emulate the Prefers Reduced Data Media Query. The Prefers Reduced Data Media Query detects if the user prefers being served alternate content that use less data for the page to be rendered. Open the Rendering tab, scroll down, and look for the Emulate CSS Media feature Prefers Reduced Data option. Please note that this feature is currently available behind the Chrome flag Enable Experimental Web Platform Feature flag. You can see these emulations options only if the flag is enabled. DevTools now has better support for some of the latest JavaScript language features. DevTools now supports new logical assignment operators in the Sources panel. Here, I have my sample code with the new operators. Click to run the code. The code is now executed correctly. DevTools now pretty prints the numeric separators in the Sources panel. Click to pretty print our sample code here. The code is now formatted properly. DevTools now shows a detailed view of each frame under the Frames menu in the Application panel. In this example, I have a page with various iframes with different security settings. Click on a frame. You can now view the frame details as well as its security and isolation information. More security information will be added to the frame details view soon. Next up, the Lighthouse panel has a couple of new audits. Lighthouse now reports the longest task on the main thread. It is useful for identifying the worst contributors to input delay. The new SEO audit will check if links are crawlable 
by checking if the href attributes of anchor elements links to an appropriate destination. The avoid non-composited animations audit reports non-composited animations that appear janky and reduce cumulative layout shift CLS. Check out the Lighthouse release notes for the full list of changes. Here is a bonus tip. You can use the search tab to search for a keyword across all the files in the current page. Click Ctrl Shift P or Command Shift P in Mac OS and open the search tab. Type in a keyword to search and click enter. The list contains all the results that match the search criteria. Click on the result to open the source files and you can also search with regular expressions or matching cases. There are more new features in Chrome Dev 286. Find out more in our blog post. The link is provided in the video description. Oh, did I mention we have a new DevTools engineering blog as well? The first post by Tim shares about how we migrate DevTools to JavaScript modules. Make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching. See you in six weeks for Chrome 87. <music>